Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about 20 ways that low waste living can save you money. Now I know everyone needs a little bit of an incentive to get on this whole low waste bandwagon so I thought I'd give you 20 ways that it has helped me to reduce the amount of waste that I produce and also save money at the same time. So grab a cup of tea and let's get straight into the video. The first one is I repair my clothes. So I always make sure that I'm buying high quality natural fiber clothes when possible. And if things start to get a little rip or a little tear, I simply just sew them up. I have some shorts that I have had for about five years now and I did get them from Ameri American Apparel, but I do absolutely love them and I don't want to get rid of them and have to buy a new pair from somewhere else, especially because ethical clothing can be quite expensive. So I'm just gonna repair that tiny little hole and and they're gonna be good as new. The second one is of course buying secondhand clothes. I have saved a tremendous amount of money by buying clothes secondhand when I've absolutely needed something or if I'm going to an event or something like that and I need to wear something else then I will simply go to a secondhand shop and try and find something there. You save so much money, especially in the UK. I don't know about other places, the US as well, whenever I've been there, the thrift shopping has been super cheap and in Australia in op shops as well. And yeah, it's been absolutely amazing. I also picked up a bag a few years ago when I was in Paris and it was like 10 euros and oh, I absolutely loved it. The third one is to not buy fast fashion. This helps you save a lot of waste and it also makes you think about the stuff that you actually want and you actually need. I don't buy fast fashion anymore so it kind of has tempered my need for buying new clothes cons constantly. And even though ethical clothing, again as I said before, can be more expensive, it means that you buy far less and it means that you really value those things that you buy, especially if you are buying, not, you know, wanting to buy too many secondhand things. Number four is reusing glass rather than buying new. So instead of buying new mason jars anymore, I will simply reuse things like jars from olives or pickles or whatever and reuse those jars to hold my bulk items. You don't need to go and buy new mason jars, especially when you have them. You can also go to an antique shop or a secondhand shop and get glass jars there. Just make sure you really thoroughly wash them. Number five is coffee cups. So I use my reusable one all the time and I love it. And a lot of the time I do make my coffee at home, but whenever I do go out, often because I'm bringing my reusable cup, I get a pretty good discount. At Pret, you can get 50p off your coffee, which if you bought one five days a week, your fifth one would be free essentially because you've saved that amount of money by reusing your cup. Also in a lot of independent coffee shops, which obviously I would prefer to support, you can also get money off there. So it's a great way. Obviously making coffee at home is gonna be a lot cheaper, but if you are going out, this is a great way that reusables can save you money in the long run. Number six is having a reusable water bottle and filling up for free at any refill stations or at people's houses or at my house or at a restaurant because water bottles not only are the plastic terrible for the environment but they do rack up a lot of money especially if you're buying them constantly. Now of course and if you're in a country where you absolutely have to buy plastic water bottles then don't worry about that that's not really exactly your fault. When I was in Mexico I a lot of the hostels I stayed at, they had these massive water jugs that got refilled. I just go and refill my bottle there so that I could keep being reusable when possible and yeah, try and save some money at the same time. Number seven, avoiding waste by making your lunch at home. This is so much cheaper than constantly eating out for lunch. When I was working in the city, I would buy food out for lunch pretty much every day and such a waste and an incredible waste of money as well. So making your lunch at home, you're gonna save on plastic packaging, etc., and you're also gonna save a hell of a lot of money. 
Number eight is my reusable razor. I bought this, it was about 28 pounds, so it was not cheap by any means, but at the same time, I've had it for basically a year now and I absolutely love it. Especially as someone who does choose to shave, I think that you go through so many ridiculous plastic razors constantly and I can't even begin to say how much money I've spent on reusable like razors and fancy ones and ones that tell you that they do certain things and it's just ridiculous and I have saved a lot of money and a lot of plastic by switching to a reusable razor. Number nine is I rarely buy books anymore. I have a library near me that mostly has a lot of books I want, but I also have a lot of friends who read the same things as me. And we swap books often. And I also, sometimes if I do need a book that I really, really want to read that is you know, fundamental to my research into climate change and zero waste living, low impact living, all that kind of stuff, I will buy it second hand. And there are some really great book uh, bookstores online that you can buy them second hand from, or if you go into wherever you live, like I have lo obviously loads of second hand bookstores in, in London, but yeah, it's just so much better to use your library, your friends, uh, or to buy second hand. And you're gonna save loads of money because new books are super expensive. But of course, sometimes I also do wanna support the writers and I will buy a book on my Kindle instead and buying it on a Kindle means that it is going to be cheaper because you don't have to pay for publishing because actually publishing and the when I say publishing I mean the production of creating it into a physical book that costs a lot more than obviously creating an ebook of it so that also is another way to save money but also support writers. Number 10 is DIYs. I make my own deodorant now, I make my own toothpaste, I make my own kind of like hair wash and stuff like that and it has saved me a tremendous amount of money because I'm simply buying the ingredients. I'm not buying, you know, the, the brand and the packaging. I'm just simply buying the raw ingredients so that I can make these things myself. If you want to know how to make DIY uh, deodorant, I will link it up here maybe or down below. And I've got a few other DIYs that you can make yourself that are like shampoo and conditioner as well. Number 11 is I really don't wash my hair very often anymore. I've managed to transition it so that I only have to wash it once a week maximum. Usually it'll be once every two weeks. And yes, I do have very dry, curly, crazy hair, but I've also spent a lot of time transitioning. So I use water only for about three or four months and it completely transformed how often I needed to wash my hair. So I don't have to wash it as often anymore and therefore I'm saving money by not having to replenish my kind of low waste alternatives to shampoo and conditioner. This also takes down the time that I spend in the shower as well, so I'm also saving water there. Number 12 is I have fallen in love with cycling. I got my bike second hand and I absolutely love it. My sister is a trained bike mechanic, so she can help me service it as well. And also just being able to cycle places means that you save on transport, especially if you live in a city like London, which is so expensive that it's quite painful. Cycling everywhere is just the best. Like last night I was on a panel for a event last night in London and instead of getting the bus there and back, which to, admittedly would only be three pounds to get the bus there and back, but I cycled instead and I got, you know, a 45 minute workout in and I also got there for free and enjoyed it as well. Whenever I'm speaking at something, I always get really nervous and cycling actually helps me to calm my nerves a lot and think. But more importantly, what this point is, is that it saves saves money. If you don't want to cycle, you don't have a bike, you can always try and walk places as well. And it's great. I love it. On the same kind of tangent as that as well, learning how to do things. So learning how to change your own tires, learning how to service your own bike or having friends that you can exchange kind of stuff with. That's a really great way of saving money as well. So that's an extra one there. 13, which is a little bit more broad, but it's to reduce your needs. So when you reduce your needs, you need less and therefore you spend less on stuff. I have tried to reduce what I like need quite dramatically and realized I don't really need that much stuff. I don't really need physical stuff and I don't really need to eat out all the time. And I just save a hell of a lot of money and in, in turn so much waste as well. Number 14 is I share my wardrobe basically with my sister. So I get twice the amount of clothes for one times the price of a wardrobe. 
if you live with people I think it's great because then you can share with each other and you don't have to constantly think oh I don't have any clothes or anything like that and it's just a great way of saving money because it feels like you have new clothes but you don't and then you can just share them and save on waste and money. Number 15 is I use a menstrual cup and I use reusable pads and yes my I think my reusable cup was about 18 pounds and my pads something like 30 pounds for all of them so it was like 50 pounds that I've spent but I was spending before like up to five pounds a month every month and these items like the reusable stuff is meant to last like 10 to 15 years so I've saved a hell of a lot of money on re you know on disposables by using reusables and I absolutely love using menstrual cup I would never go back now that I've kind of figured it out and yeah, it makes my life so much easier. Number 16 is I now let my hair dry naturally. I used to be terrible at blow drying my hair, straightening my hair, using loads of electricity, buying loads of wasteful stuff to straighten my hair, etc. And now I just let it air dry and yeah, it's made a massive difference to my pocket and to my curls and yeah, love it. Number 17 is reusable napkins. I always carry one with me when I'm feeling really unwell because I hate buying tissues and wasting the tissue and the plastic the tissues come in and I just use a reusable napkin instead and then I just wash it whenever I need to. This saves a lot of money when you're ill and also you can use them when you're out and about with your cutlery or anything like that and I just find them to be so helpful. Number 18 is I use a drying rack to dry all of my clothes. This saves a lot of electricity every month for us and it also smells nicer because it's outside and it's also far more environmentally friendly. Number 19, I use apps like Olio, which is a food waste app. So if I have any food that's gonna go to waste and I can't use it, I simply go on the app and I share it with someone locally or vice versa. So if they have food going off, then you get free food by saying, yes, I will take your food from you and reduce that waste. So it's a really great app to use. Hashtag not sponsored. And the number one, uh, the number one, and the last one, number 20, is to go to clothes swaps. So I held an event last year with Moco from 10 Cable Street on a clothes swap, and we go there, take any clothes that you no longer, you know, think that you can wear, and you swap them, and you get new clothes, and you get a whole new wardrobe, essentially. And they're really great because, obviously, you're not paying for new clothes, but you're also getting secondhand clothes, and it's just a really great kind of low-waste, cyclical thing to do yeah so those are my 20 ways there are so many more so thank you so much for watching i really appreciate all of it all of you coming here and watching this video please give it a like if you liked it it really helps and comment subscribe and hit that notification bell thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys on sunday got a really exciting video coming up so i hope you like it bye